Hey, good evening. It's uh, Friday, September 22nd, and welcome back to Everyday Talk 24-7. You know, I indicated last night that I might go this way, and I, I persuaded that this would be a good topic for us to look into. I'm going to continue looking at Psalm 23, but from the standpoint of anxiety. We often think of Psalm 23 as something that is read right at funerals or at a time when we need encouragement, but I think there is an immediate sense of anxiety that Psalm 23 addresses in a beautiful, special way to encourage us. Because, as we talked about last night, anxiety comes when we feel afraid, when we feel alone, when we feel like we're defenseless. But if God is our shepherd, nothing could be further from the truth. So I want to take a little bit of time looking at Psalm 23 and anxiety. It may not be sequential because of other things come up, but it'll be under this heading, Psalm 23 and anxiety. Tonight, I just want to look at the first verse. Again, one of those passages of scripture that's probably familiar to many people, even people that don't know the Bible. I'm going to read from verse 1, the New Living Translation, because it's the clarity I think it brings here. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. See, we tend to look at this as, well, okay, I have an evaluation to make. Uh, yeah, I think I have all I need. Or I need more. Maybe the shepherd will give it to me. A faithful shepherd will care for us, but that's not, I believe, what's being said here. What's being said is a statement of fact. And this is why it's so important in anxiety. Because so often we have anxiety, we believe that we're lacking something, that we're missing something. If I just had this extra thing, hey, Echo, or if something else would go away, or if something would change, I don't have all that I need. But David is saying here, the Lord is my shepherd. You have all you need because he's your shepherd. The thumbnail tonight shows this flock of sheep and this shepherd watching over them. They're secure because they know their shepherd is there. That's the power of what it means that the Lord is your shepherd. You have everything that you need. It's a statement of reality, not an estimation, not a suggestion for you to figure out what you need. If God is your shepherd, you have all that you need because he's committed to give it to you. This is what Paul talks about in Philippians. He said he's learned how to be content in all circumstances because he knows that he can trust God in all circumstances because he knows his God is right there with us. That's what's so important. God is our shepherd. You and I have all that we need. If we're facing a difficult time, time of hurt, loss, some relational struggle and hurt. We have a marriage conflict. If God is our shepherd, we have all that we need to address the situation and to give us direction and comfort. This is so important for us, so important for me, I don't know what God is going to do tomorrow, but I know that I have all that I need because my shepherd won't go anywhere. The faithful shepherd will not abandon his sheep. As 
Jesus teaches us in John chapter 10. He holds us in our hand, in his hand, and no one can snatch us out of his hand. We have all that we need. In hurt, in loss, in fear. Your God is right there with you. Even when tragedy strikes, our God is there. We have all that we need to be able to trust Him, to know Him, to bring honor to Him. He is committed to us. He's our comforter. He speaks for us. He argues our case minute by minute before the Father of every day. It's just mind-blowing. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. It's not a call to make an assessment, do I have enough? It's a call to trust that your faithful shepherd is giving you all that you need to be complete in him, to live in this world in a way that have peace and contentment, and to know the joy of what it means, even in sorrow, that in our great shepherd, we have all that we need. Again, so value your thoughts, your feedback. This is so important for us. We're going to work through the psalm this way. Psalm 23 and anxiety. When we think we don't have anything, when we think all is lost, when we're anxious about what we don't have, the words of this psalm speak to you and to me. The Lord is our shepherd. We, in fact, have all that we need. And that's the thought for this night. Thanks so much for being here. And uh, Lord willing, we'll see you in the morning. Have a great night. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. May God richly bless you as you seek to live for His glory.